Okay, so this is the uh, this is the bottom polish round done. Okay, so this guy is wet still, and that's him dry. So that's that's worked really well. You can see how shiny that is. Look, there's a chip that's come out of there. I think possibly from tumbling. Did find another broken bit. So, like I said before, you meant to take him out, and I said I didn't. And that's what happens. I should have should have taken him out. If you can see that the the shine, and then the bits that aren't shiny. I reckon if you rub it on a bit of dry cloth fast and get some friction and heat build up, you should be able to see um, if burnishing is going to help it. This guy, the soft guy, he hasn't taken a polish at all. I think that's because now banging around with the other harder stones, he's uh, taken a little bit of a polish there, you can see, but not not enough. So we got that, and some have a lot of cracks. One of the things I probably could have done better in this round, or in this whole tumble, is get rocks that are of a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes, uh, so, different sizes, um, so that it's not so much banging against each other, but rubbing, because um, it's the banging that creates the cracks. And you know, there's plenty of cracks there. All right, we'll get him, get him back in there with some, um, to do the burnishing round. So let's remember what they look like, just to see if um, the burnishing does anything different. Let's pick one with a bit of a, uh, this guy. So that's the guy with the, the bases. It looks to be a different material. It hasn't taken the polish as well. So we'll see if we can get that shinier. I'm leaving those guys out. They're broken, sharp edges. All right, so this stuff here is Imperial leather. It's the only thing I could find at the supermarket that was labelled actual ivory soap. I don't think you're meant to use stuff that's real smelly, but it said ivory soap on it, so I'm just gonna, yeah, see it. Do I don't know if it's ivory soap? Oh God. This, the first time I saw this, and a lot of, of how I learnt how to do tumbling, um, or advice that I have used is from a dude, I think his name's Me Miner. Me. I'll have his link down below. He he knows his stuff when it comes to tumbling. And any mistakes I've made are not because of his advice at all. It's because I've been lazy or thought I could push the rules a little bit. Which you never know, that's how things get discovered, but we'll see. I'm gonna put a whole freaking bunch of this in there so that it gets a bit thicker. There you go, the uh, soap shavings are in there. I put a lot in there. All right, moment of truth. Uh, see if the burnishing made them uh, more shiny than before. After a long wait and five weeks, here are the finished products. They actually turned out shinier than what I thought. You can see the shine on that. You can see the sun coming through the bits. Um, this is one of my favorite stones that came out of it. It almost shaped into a little pyramid, but it's got a shine on it. It's polished up. You can see the different colors coming through it. He's probably one of my favorites. He's taking a polish. But you can see in the inside of me, he looks just like 
It's pretty. There's a different little world in there. I think that's what's fun about polishing stones that have a mixture of clear or translucent material with some opaque material because it gives you a different, what am I trying to say? It gives you a different contrast. It gives you a bit of a different contrast. Um, he's, a, he's a pretty one. He's come up pretty good too. He's got the shine of the hematite in there. Uh, there's some quartz in there as well. It's a jasper, so it's basically a, it's, it is a type of, a form of quartz. Crypto crystalline, I think it's called. Here's a rough version of the main stone, all of these guys. Um, so he's gone from, you know, from that. This is pretty on its own to like that. And you can see all in there. The thing with the uh, tumbling stones with the combination of materials that are different hardnesses and different textures or, or some are more porous and some are not, is that you're, you're gonna have some parts that are not as shiny and some that are. But like I said, the contrast is kind of nice between the two materials. Um, Now the soft guy, he is, has taken a polish. You can see the shine there. I just think he might take a better polish from being in a, in a batch where all of the rocks are as soft as he is. This is what he was before, what he looked like before. And it's a nice glassy sort of, I have a feeling that might be some opalite. It's very light material, but it's this glassy bit that caught my eye when we found it. I think a lot can be said for when you're tumbling, um, the effort you go to before putting the rocks in there to shape them, whether you've got some wheels or something like that, that you just want to do some basic shapes or even a lapidary saw, cut them into different, different, um, different shapes. He's taken a polish. This guy is the, uh, the one we were gonna use as a test to see if the burnishing worked. I think it did. There's more polish there. There's not that much of a difference between the stuff that was shiny before and the stuff that wasn't. So that's a bit of a, bit of a cool insight into how well burnishing can work for your rocks. The Rhylites. These guys are the funnest ones, I think, so far that I've tumbled because there's little bits that you don't see with the surface of the rock on there when you first find them, that through the first stage and the second stage of tumbling get worn down and you start to see these little pockets of chalcedony and other different minerals that are in there, the, the stuff that take a polish a little bit better. But look, the outside of him took a nice polish. Yeah, you can see the shine there. I hadn't tumbled rhyolite before. This guy here. He's got some cool lines in there, not many interesting colors. Um, but there's a cool little, little piece I wanted to try out. Um, he looked like, like this beforehand. Similar to this, this is another piece. You can tell it's a little bit, um, <clears throat> a little bit more porous of a stone than your agates and whatnot. Another little guy. Sorry for the shadows. Probably could have picked a better time to, of day to show you these. He's done pretty well. Um, a little bit of rhyolite with Chalcedony inclusion or Chalcedony mixed in there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I think that the thing I'm most a little bit disappointed about is the, the cracking. I think I might need to get some um, ceramic 
beads to put in there. Thank you all for watching. I'm not an expert at this, so that's... Ooh, that's a kookaburra. I'm not an expert at this at all. Like, this is honestly my second second tumble of rocks. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out now what to do next. What's the next type of tumble? I'm doing my first few rounds, first few batches as experiments, learning, curves, stuff like that. Tumbling is one way of polishing your stones. It might not be for everybody. There's other ways of polishing your stones, many other ways. Uh, some of them require some expensive machinery, which I don't have, which I'm going to get eventually. But while I'm waiting and saving money, I'm also learning a lot about different hardness of stones, textures, what takes a polish, what doesn't, what's brittle, what's not, uh, what works and what doesn't. Overall, I'm happy with it. And I'm very grateful for anyone who's watched. I hope I've been helpful in showing the process of tumbling. I've made some mistakes. I'm learning from them. I'm learning each time I do it. So practice, I mean, not practice, but experience. I'm just gonna keep tumbling, keep tumbling. I will continue to sort of show the before and after, probably in just one video. Again, check out me Miner, his channel. He's got a lot of a lot of good tumbling videos, different steps, tutorials. He's very creative with his rocks, very curious as well. Um, but he knows his stuff. Like I said, he's a very smart dude. Uh, and nothing that he's said has brought about any of the problems that I've mentioned so check them out okay guys that is it thank you very much for watching and keep an eye out for my other videos if you like it tell someone about it i don't have facebook or any other social media other than youtube so share it around if you want to and um happy handing <laughs>